<laughs> it's evening now out here. It's way too hot to work. So um, I'll let the place kind of air out and uh, come back out here this uh, this evening late or when it, when it cools down. I uh, had some footage of that, of this Malcolbany Wave that's at the uh, recovery yard that didn't make it the last video. So I'll squeeze it into this one. And then I uh, worked on another wave and uh, found kind of a funny problem with that one. And I'll load that video too. And uh, I will come back and uh, wrap it up. Okay. American Wave, it, it was made uh, in Yakima, Washington. It's one of the other American made waves. This McIlvany here, right there, McIlvany Machine Works, Yakima, Washington. He had, a, he had a, quite a connection to the railroad, from what I understand. I had done a video of this lake before. Now, oh, I'll get that close. What I see, and it's not good. You see this oil here, how it's done that? Dirty and clumpy. Coming out of that sight glass and these levers. Now what has happened is water has worked its way through, probably through this top lever. Now the last time I was here is last year I could move that, I still can. Okay, the thing will shift and the chuck will turn. I think it's savable still. I was pretty worried about it last uh, winter. It's got a clutch, got busted down there. You can fix it pretty easy. Kind of like a south bend. It's got a key um, in the lead screw that drives the, uh, the, the, the guts in the, in the carriage here. Here's your half nut lever in your direction. Here's a uh, threading dial. Tail stock is inside the yard there. In a tub of water, not kidding. With uh, a couple of chucks and uh, a steady rest. That he wouldn't sell me. <laughs> okay, look at the spindle hole. It's huge. That's one of the interesting things about this machine that I saw. About a three-inch hole. And I'm not sure. I, it's hard to read the. Uh, uh, speeds on this thing. I'd really like to know the top speed and I haven't been able to really find it. It's just hard to read. I don't know. McIlvany Machine Works, Yakima, Washington, USA. Century. Center bearing on spindle. What does that mean? Center bearing on spindle for shifting. Who knows? I don't, I don't know what that means. But this is what the machine looks like. Got a clutch. It's got a twin disc clutch. <laughs> but it's got a long bed on that thing. You know, that, that, that bed's a good 10 feet long. Yeah. It, uh, I was looking at the wear on the ways, and it's not that bad. Just barely pick up a ridge. Barely pick up a ridge, not battered that bad. I don't know. If I had room for it, I might save it. And there it is. For any inquiries, contact that number. Okay, let's go look around here. <laughs> I like the stuff stacked up there. I don't, that's like an old pump of some kind, I think. I, I mean, this is better than Disneyland. Yeah. We're still recording. Hey there, 
I'm uh, helping a friend adjust the lathe here. And, uh, I think it's kind of a neat one. It's an import lathe, a little grizzly. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And uh, it gets used a lot. It's about five years old. It's in a pro shop. But it's in next to an old bridge board here. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking it over. It's actually pretty tight. Can't shake it. I like to grab them and shake them. So it's not rattling. So uh, I'm going to check it out. You got this gizmo? I got to show you this. See if I can get it open. I can't get the package open. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll install it and show it. <laughs> well, that's saying the next is saying, give it a little bit. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn the center here. Turn a little bit more here. I don't know, it don't sound like a Maytag. <laughs> I'm kind of old school in the way I do things, so when I check out a lathe, I like to put a piece of steel in it, just start cutting, just like I'm making parts. But this device here is a tailstock alignment bar by Edge Technology. And evidently what you do is you put it between the centers and you indicate off these ends. You go to this end, to that end, and uh, align your tailstock. Tell me what you think in the comments. Okay. I tried this test bar here, and it shows that the lathe centers are true. But you go and just cut this little piece of aluminum here, and it shows that the test center, the uh, lathe centers are out of my valve, so I'll adjust it. Hey, I, I found a little smoother gear for that little grizzly uh, to run in, but uh, that, that little grizzly's not a bad little machine, you know, it's pretty tight and everything. But uh, I thought that that uh, device for uh, um, checking the centers was, uh, you know, it, it does not work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I tend to just put metal in the machine and start cutting and find the faults. And then, you know, do what I can to fix them. But uh, it got that machine straightened out real quick. Just just machining a piece of aluminum, and I could tell from one end to the other that uh, uh, the the centers were misaligned. <clears throat> but uh, that's kind of an interesting little corner in that business there. It's a uh, a service type business. It's not a regular machine shop, and that's kind of a typical uh, little thing you'd find is uh, a bridge port and uh, a little machine like that for a motor shop or something. No kind of mechanical deal. A little lift works just fine. Uh, I was thinking that uh, if the axle scent was sitting here, this axle scent, it'll throw chips 10 feet. So <laughs> that, I think that little grizzly is probably the right machine sitting there. <laughs> it's not going to throw chips 10 feet. But, you know, it was remarkably accurate. Um, I, I shot uh, a little short clip of it, but it, somehow the camera shut off or something, running at 1200, and it was, it was pretty darn smooth. Made a pretty good cut. So that's kind of fun there, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that, you know. Uh, it, it was uh, a day out of my little shack here. Okay, now I got a bunch to do here <laughs> now that I'm back, and I'll just keep, uh, I'll keep doing it, and if it looks interesting, I'll turn the camera on, okay? Now, uh, uh, in that shop, I didn't do a tour or anything, because, you know, people like their privacy, you know what I mean? That's why you're not doing videos, huh? <laughs> I, uh, I'm not, uh, 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 
necessarily a person to do videos, but uh, went through some health issues and I was supposed to die. <laughs> and one of my doctors goes, Don, you're not supposed to be here. What are you going to do now? And I go, well, I'm going to shoot YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, I will be back. <laughs> Bye. Are you on patrol? Okay, let me know if you see anything.